King of Sports. Huge bumper wrestling. the road to Lions Break Contender here on New Japan Strong, and we thank you very much for joining us. Alex Kozlov, Kevin Kelly, we're here at ringside, and we've got a huge broadcast coming your way. The long-awaited New Japan Strong debut of your 2021 2020 Super J-Cup tournament winner. Yes, the ever-controversial El Fantasmo is here. Six-man tag team main event. Boy, Bullet Club holds all the cards, I think, in this one. Hikaleo, El Fantasmo, and Kenta versus Fred Rosser, ACH, and Blake Christian. Well, I'm super excited. I mean, we're going to get to see the most powerful faction in the Bullet Club, and El Fantasmo. It's going to be a treat, folks. Oh, I can't wait to hear his new entrance theme that he's promised us. We'll see what happens there. Plus, TJP versus Adrian Quest, and we kick things off one-on-one -on -one with El Mysterioso versus Barrett Brown. Let's head to the ring. Well, the old saying goes, sometimes you got to take a step back before you can move forward. Such is the case with Barrett Brown, who took some time off to reevaluate his situation and refocus, and is planning on big things here in the new year. Well, it is the new year, and it's Never a bad idea to go back to the drawing board and see where you can improve. I respect that. Will we get to see an improved 50 caliber? Introducing first in the blue corner, standing five foot six inches tall, weighing at 163 pounds, 50 caliber, Barrett Brown. He's looking good. Wow, he looks looking focused in great, great shape. Such a presidential sound. Misterioso. Well, Misterioso certainly will come in with the size advantage. And we know that the veteran Lucha star will certainly be a tough out. But can he get his 2021 campaign off to a strong start? Introducing his opponent in the red corner, standing 5 foot 11 inches tall, weighing at 218 pounds, Misterioso. Well, he's definitely one of the strongest Lucha Libre athletes that I've seen. I mean, look at the build on him and still what he's able to accomplish in that ring, the way that he uses the ring. Your referee advantage. for this contest, Nick Bonanno. So we'll see how the opening match here on this week's episode of New Japan Strong unfolds on the road to Lions Break Contender Tour, the 
tour gets off next week and certainly reverberation still being felt from last week's main event with Chris Dickinson being the mystery partner for J.R. Kratos and Danny Limelight. Very, very impressed with uh, Chris Dickinson, I was. Uh, me too. I mean, he, he got the win for the team. I mean, he was very, very lethal with everything that he did in that ring. I mean, it's a great acquisition. As Mysterioso is wrestling with uh, Bear Brown, and Bear Brown able to take him over with the arm drag, but Mysterioso all too powerful. Yeah, Bear Brown got stopped in his tracks, and now Mysterioso crank it on the side headlock. Barrett Brown will have to use his quickness to try to find an escape here as he backs Mysterioso off the ropes. And again, Barrett Brown just not enough mass to be able to send Mysterioso into the ropes. Mysterioso is a, is a big guy. He's, a, he's heavy he's a, and he's got a really tight headlock on. Will uh, Barrett Brown be able to escape from him? He's able to shoot him off, but gets taken down by a big tackle. Immediately put down, and now the drop down, and the handspring over and across. Barrett Brown trying to catch him coming in and does wow. so. Tahara takes Mysterioso down. He'll roll to the floor for safety, and Barrett Brown trying to catch him by surprise here. Let's see if he's able to. Able to kick him off. And will he be able to, he connects with a huge oh. moonsault, but Mysterioso catches him. Plucked him out of midair and yard darts wow. him right into My the ring God. post. The power of Mysterioso to be able to catch Bear Brown from the top. Boy, and that is a dangerous predicament that Barrett Brown found himself in being thrown One. head first into the ring Two. post. Three. Completely eliminated Baron Four. Brown on the outside. And Rolls Five. back in the ring and six. Letting the Seven. process take its course. Yeah, Will he'll eight. have the benefit of a 20 Nine. count to get back into Ten. the ring. Otherwise, the match will end via Eleven. count out. Mysterioso. 12. Allowing Barrett Brown to get 13. back into the ring if he's able to. 14. Barrett Brown able, barely able to roll in the ring and goes for the cover. Mysterioso goes for the cover right away. But man, he brutalized him when you threw him into that post. Now up on the shoulders, Mysterioso will take him up and over. And now we'll see the aerial exploits of Mysterioso. Oh. He's on the top rope and turns him into the senton. Two count and a kick out. Bear Brown showing his toughness. But certainly Mysterioso, I think this could be the year for him to really break out, to get to that next level. Well, both these competitors have an opportunity to show the New Japan brass what they're made of. I mean, we are on the road to the Lions break contender. Who will be the contender of 2021? All of these men have a lot to prove. All right, now Mysterioso putting Barrett Brown down to the corner. Here he comes. Oh, oh my God. Can you imagine that kind of weight coming at you with that kind of speed? And this should do it. And Barrett wow. Brown is able to kick out, though, at two. We've always known that Barrett Brown has been tenacious. He can take a, a lot of punishment. And another kick out. His heart's being tested here as Mysterioso has been able to... My gosh. Hard kick to the back of Barrett Brown. And Barrett Brown now fighting up from underneath. Scoring with a series of forearms. And now the knee. Hits the ropes aggressively, but Mysterioso puts him down. It's a hard boot to the face. So Barrett Brown started to mount a little bit of offense, but Mysterioso was able to shut him down quickly. You can see that Mysterioso was well prepared for this match. He got takes the, the elbow from Barrett Brown. Got caught with an elbow. And now utilizing the boot, the Inzaguri puts Mysterioso back, retreating, charging in. Wow! Oh! Hips asses him in the corner. And now pulling him out, pulling him out away from the ropes, two, and a kick out. Used Mysterioso's momentum coming in, catches him, hip tossing him into that top rope. Five minutes has elapsed, five minutes. 
So battle of up-and-comers here on New Japan Strong on the road to Lions Break contenders. And, of course, the main event, El Fantasmo, Kenta and Hikaleo from Bullet Club. Will they be dominant and victor in victorious against Fred Rosser, ACH, and Blake Christian as Barrett Brown now goes to the top rope? Goes for the Hurricanrana, but Mr. Also too strong and wait, powerful. Wait, wait, sunset flip over the top, over the top. Wow. Mr. Also tried to powerbomb him, but Barrett Brown turned it into the sunset flip, and now a huge kick to the face. Two, and a kick oh, out. and a close count. Bear Brown picking up some steam here. Yeah, we were counting him out just a few minutes ago, and now here we are with Barrett Brown seemingly in control of his own destiny. Is he able to get the victory against Mysterioso when it looked like all hope was lost? Well, Mysterioso is certainly a formidable challenger, but there was a reason that Bear Brown... Oh, no, the swanton into the knees of Mysterioso. He took some time off to reevaluate his game plan, and I want to see what he has in store for Mysterioso, but he's taking too much punishment. Mysterioso put his knees up. Two, and a kick out. On that Santana, and you can see the, the pain that Barry Brown is in. All right, Mysterioso now might be just one big move away from putting Barrett Brown away. It appears like he's going for a power bomb. Pops him up, thrust oh, kick. Gets Th caught with a super kick. Goes for the backcracker, but Barrett Brown holds on to the ropes. Catches him with that high knee. Mysterioso is wobbly. Wait a minute, wait a minute, up on the shoulders. Oh my God, in reverse Hurricanrana. Wheelbarrow, wheelbarrow, yes, sir. And he connects. Oh, Leg is hooked, too. Oh. oh, my God, I thought that was it. So Barrett Brown, half a count away from getting the victory over Mysterioso. I got to say that both of these men are obviously desperate for a win. They want to show that they are the contenders of 2021. Great toughness shown by Mysterioso kicking out. A move that had put many of Barrett Brown's opponents away. But now Barrett Brown going to the top, checking. Mysterioso getting up. Checking underneath to see where Mysterioso was. And that extra split second. Oh, wait a minute. This He's is for a big move. This is dangerous right here. Oh my god! Oh! The reverse suplex off the top rope. This is it. It has to be a two, and yes indeed, it is over. Oh. Wow, well, this Time. was a very seven minutes hard and fifty-five seconds. Here is your winner, Miss Daddy Yoso. Respect to both men. I mean, they threw everything that they had in them. Once again, your winner of wow. the match, Miss Daddy Yoso. So what will the Burgeoning year of 2021 hold for Mysterioso on the road to Lions Break contenders. Showed the heart, showed the toughness and the tenacity that it takes. But you know what? You can't take anything away from Barrett Brown, who looked great even though he came up short. Six man tag team main event. But a big one coming up next with TJP one-on-one -on -one versus Adrian Quest. Así es como se empieza el año. That's how the year should begin. Misterioso is making waves in New Japan. And 2021 is my year. We'll head back to the ring in just a few moments here on New Japan Strong. Lions Break Contenders Tour getting set to get started. We're on the road to right now. And my guest will be part of the main event here tonight. You will see Fred Rosser teaming with uh, Blake Christian and ACH against Hikaleo, Kenta, and El Fantasmo. Fred, it is great to have some time with you. Thank you for giving us some time before your big match. Ohio, Kevin Kelly, Daijobu. Daijobu, my old friend. Uh, how are you feeling getting ready for uh, this big main event tonight? I'm feeling great. You know, you see I'm smiling from ear to ear. So happy to be here. So happy to have you calling matches. Uh, you're very important. You're part of the story. And so far, I've been watching my matches. 
here in New Japan Pro Wrestling, and you've been making me look like a million bucks. But I've been fighting. I've been fighting to keep my spot here. You know, it's, it's you know, temporary. I want it to be permanent. Well, obviously, uh, there is the Fred roster that we see now. But then when the bell rings, there's a, a switch, a 180-degree switch. A uh, complete how do you, switch. How do you find that, that, that ability to uh, turn that next gear on when the bell rings? You know, I just still, like Tom Hanks says it the best, you're dope if you don't steal from the greats. So I, I steal from my favorites and I make it my own and I just try to be as gritty as possible. I want people on my social media to contact me, which they normally do, which they normally do and they say, man, that look physical, that look real. Well, this ain't ballet. And it won't be ballet in the main event because uh, you're going to be facing Bullet Club. And we've talked about Bullet Club before and the, the strength and the power that they have in their numbers. Uh, what can be different tonight in our main event? How will you overcome the power of Bullet Club? You know, the story doesn't change with me. You know, I am the suntan Superman. I'm having fun with you now. I, you know, if this wasn't fun, I wouldn't be here. And if I did this for the money, I would have complained a long time ago. I do it for the love and the passion. And I am the muscle man. I'm the muscle man in that New Japan Pro Wrestling ring. So what you see is what you get. It's not fancy. It's not pretty. It gets results. So tune in. Well, the results are going to be great if you can overcome Bullet Club. And we'll certainly look forward to seeing what happens. Fred, in our last few seconds, any final words for the fans? Final words? You know, Shin Nihon Pro Les Wa Ichiban. Shin Nihon Pro Les Wa Siaiko. The best. And the best has yet to come. Block the hate, salute the great. I've been practicing. I've been practicing my Japanese. Sounded good from where I am. Fred Rosser could be Ichiban. We'll find out in our main event. And thank you very much, Fred Rosser, for joining us. Back to the ring in just a few moments here on New Japan Strong. Look great during the Lions Break Crowd Tournament. Adrian Quest certainly has a bright, bright future. And let's see what he can do here in his first match of the new year. Very exciting. High flyer. Adrian Quest, first. but he's got a big corner. test. Standing ahead of him. five foot, eight inches tall. And TJ 145 pounds. Young Fuego. Adrian Quest. A lot of similarities for me, Alex, between Adrian Quest and his opponent, TJP, both young veterans. Each started extremely young, young. And now, as they enter their, as they're in their 30s, when you look at uh, Adrian Quest about to get into his 30s, he's got the, you know, a wealth of experience. Oh, absolutely. And, you know, if you were to ask yourself, what is going to be the difference maker here? And they, they, these both men have wrestled all over the world, and for a long time, from a young age, it is the level of competition that they have faced in their lives. And I would have to say that TJP has been in bigger matches in his uh, in his career, and so that is going to be his strength. TJP will look to take care of business as he comes in as the odds maker's favorite here. Introducing his opponent in the blue corner, standing five foot ten inches tall, weighing at 174 pounds, the Phil M. Flash, TJP. So 2020 featured victories by TJP's beloved LA Lakers championship win, and it also the LA Dodgers. So TJP, I think it will be looking for championship glory for this here contest, in 2021. Justin Borden. And he's got all the tools for that. I mean, he's got such a rich history, such a rich career. An interesting history here in New Japan Pro, Rus Pro Wrestling. He made his debut here in New Japan Pro Wrestling in 1998, debuting with Ricky Reyes, Rocky Romero, and Brian Danielson in 2002. Yeah, the... Uh Original incarnation of the LA Dojo as he and Adrian Quest lock up. Colin Obo tie up. The Phil Am Flash with the waist lock and the takedown. And the escape by Quest tries the hammer lock, but TJP elusive and both bend back to a vertical base. So obviously, Adrian Quest and TJP familiar with each other. And it's interesting to see how 
styles can mimic one another, I do see some influence of TJP in what Adrian Quest does in the ring. You got to be looking, though, with the future of, of New Japan Pro Wrestling in the LA Dojo, with the DKC now being part of the Young Lions system. Uh, very interesting to see how his career will change for the better. I think it's a game changer for him to have the opportunity to train exclusively with, with uh, Shibata. This guy's the limit for that young man. All right, Adrian Quest was charging in and TJP caught him. But now TJP, wait a minute, no, Quest is up on the shoulders. Turns, Able to turn that around into her Karana. Beautiful. Wow. Turned a defensive situation into offensive opportunity. Whoa. Oh my God. Tornillo there and the cover and a hook of the leg and a two count. Caught TJP by surprise. Well, that's one of the strengths of uh, Adrian Quest. He's, he's, a, he's, a, he's a very gifted high flyer. He utilizes the ropes to gain momentum, to, to increase the intensity of the attacks. And now he is on top of TJP after that 720, double 360 cross body. So now Quest will back TJP in, send him across, and looks to take him up and over. Another head said, no, wait a second. TJP went for the strike, Quest kicked it away. And now on the top rope oh. with his back turned, Gets trapped in the tree of woe, Alex. Well, we know what's coming up next. This is vintage TJP. Well, Quest is certainly not where he wants to be, but he's the sliding drop kick there, and TJP zeroed in and scored. Sends him away for the ropes. He'll go for the cover here. Noticed uh, how TJP positioned himself between the ropes and Adrian Quest. Uh, he's a true uh, ring general. He knows where he is at all times. Well, the elbow knockdown. Very tactical. Yeah. Now putting the chin lock on Adrian Quest. TJP yeah. 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 leaning in, got the knee in the back. Quest having to fight up from underneath. Yeah. And TJP switching him back a little bit, holding on to the arms. Not letting go. Adrian Quest is trying to fight out of that. Yeah. Able to turn it around, but TJP releases the hold and shoots him off. Drop to hold. Nicely done. He'll transition up and catches a wide open Adrian Quest with a drop kick there. Cover and a kick out. Yeah, Adrian Quest certainly was not a household name. Uh, when the Lions Break Crown Tournament happened last year, but very quickly earned a lot of respect. And his reputation is growing in the pro wrestling circles as TJP now. Solomon Bar on the arm, and he's going to look to trap the shoulders here. Let's see if Quest has an escape. I'm not sure if he's going to be able to. He's got that hammer lock, and he was. Trying to pin the other shoulder of Adrian Quest, but only got a one count. Adrian Quest able to reverse that, land on his feet. TJP passes him through, tries to tilt a world, no, Quest. Goes for the Huracarana, but TJP reverses that into a submission of his own. Vintage D TJP. So let's see if this is enough to submit Adrian Quest. And now trapping the arms. Uh-oh, there oh might be no God. escape here. He's got his uh, legs trapped. He's got his arms trapped. Nope. Ah. Adrian Quest in an incredible amount of pain. TJP holding on to the arm. And now more pain and punishment here. Oh, oh snaps the, both the leg and the arm back. In the opposite five direction of the joint. Five minutes. So you heard the five minute call, and the time for Adrian Quest here in this matchup may not be too much longer. Backbreaker. And now. Chazo Eddie Guerrero with that sent on off the apron. When TJP's on top of you, he's so good at keeping you grounded. He's, uh, he's got so many weapons. 
He knows how to attack every limb to neutralize them. All right, now, now uh oh. He's able to execute the gory special. Yes, continuing sir. To, continuing to stretch Adrian Quest from one side to the other. I mean, turn that into a pin. Adrian Quest barely able to lift the shoulder, but still at the mercy of TJP. Great strength there by TJP, but let's go. Goes for the kick. Wait a second. Roll up. No. Oh, my God. Kicks him with a spinning kick. TJP got caught coming in, and now Adrian Quest looking to take He's advantage. Big wow. Asai Moonsault to the outside, able to connect. God, I, it's impressive how quickly Adrian Quest was One. able to turn the tides. I mean, they're Two. quite evenly matched, I would have to say. Yeah, he said pro wrestling saved his life. It would have been a different story from where he grew up, a rough part of town, were it not for pro wrestling at a very young age, beginning his training. And now Adrian Quest looking for a signature victory here on New Japan Strong against the world travel TJP. Oh, connects with a running shooting star Two. press on the mat. Not quite enough, but you can see it took quite a toll on TJP. Well, you know, I'm, I'm certain, you know, growing up on the streets wasn't easy, but it's exactly those kind of challenges that help him in these kind of challenging moments. The heart. The survival instinct. TJP catches him with a knee. And now another knee into the midsection. Goes for the spinning DDT off the top row, but Adrian Quest able to push him off. Wow. Uh-oh, caught. Well, wow, Adrian Quest able to land on his feet off that. And Wait a second, wait a second, two! Oh, oh I thought he had him there. They, they, these men have certainly prepared for each other. Wait a minute now, Adrian bow. Quest to the top, to the top. TJP again able to stop him in his tracks as Adrian Quest tries to mount an offensive maneuver off the top rope. So difficult when you turn your back completely on your opponent, and Adrian Quest found that out. It's very risky, but he's able to elbow out. Will he able to have success this time? He's sticking to the top rope. Uh-oh, walking up. JP runs up to the top rope, springboards to the top, and Adrian Quest is able to toss him. Toss him to the mat, and Adrian Quest, relentless, and able to, oh, not quite able to connect with that 450 splash. But leaving him right there, and TJP, now he goes to the top. Oh, and he's able to hit him with a fill and flash. Two, it's over. It. Wow. So even with Matt, Five, eight minutes this is and a hard 41 one to call, seconds. But Here is Flash, your winner, TJ. Able P. to pull out the win. You know, it's not unlike the matchup that we saw last week with Rocky Romero versus the DKC, where a veteran gets tested by somebody who doesn't quite have the reputation or the resume, but really shows the heart, the guts, and determination to hang. Once again, Absolutely. your winner, TJP. All right, so. Our two preliminary matches are completed, and all that's left for us will be our main event. And with Kenta, Nicoleo, and El Fantasmo against Fred Rosser, ACH, and Blake Christian, anything could happen. And I mean anything with Bullet Club. Why do you say his name with such such contempt. How, Why do you say El Fantasma name, uh, name in such contempt? How much evidence do you need? My goodness. Well, are you surprised? I mean, the, the Bullet Club does what they need to do to stay on top. We'll see what happens in our main event. We will now take a short break to clean and disinfect the ring. Little brother almost got me. So close, but not quite there yet. I've been watching you for years, Adrian, not just when we train, not just when we share the locker room. You keep getting taller and taller, but you're not quite here yet. You get heavier and heavier, but you're not quite here yet. 
and you keep getting better and better. Hell, you might even be better than me. But it ain't just about how good you are. Just one more element. So, today wasn't your day. Tomorrow might be. But for right now, you're not quite there yet. New Japan Pro Wrestling is back. This fall, watch the best Strong Style Wrestling live in person. Strong is coming to cities across America with New Japan's biggest names like Jay White, Juice Robinson, David Finley, and your favorite wrestlers from Japan. Coming to Dallas-Fort Worth, Texas on September 25th and 26th. Returning to 2300 Arena in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania on October 16th and 17th. And coming to Riverside, California on November 15th. Visit njpw1972.com slash njoa for information. Oh, I'm checking out new merch on Token Shop Global. Oh yeah, they put out new products like every, every month. month. I just got a t-shirt. I got a beautiful towel. I just got boxers. Oh yeah? I'm wearing them right now. I just ordered a mask. Good, the sooner the better, because I don't want to see your ugly face. I love Token Shop Global. I as well. The stars of today and the legends of the past come together on your smartphone. NJPW Collection. Pick up cards from special draft events. Use your collected cards to form your own faction or exchange them for limited edition special cards. Check in live from venues or remotely from home to get special tickets and items. Add all of New Japan Pro Wrestling to your collection now. NJPW Collection. Well, controversy follows this faction wherever it goes. Brand new shiny briefcase. After Kenta destroyed it on the skull of Hiroshi Tanahashi. Kenta will stop at nothing to get what he wants. Introducing team number one in the blue corner, representing the Bullet Club, standing six foot eight inches tall, weighing at 280 pounds, the young gun, Hiku Leo. Standing six foot one inches tall, weighing at 196 pounds, the headbanger, El Fantasmo. Standing five foot nine inches tall, weighing in at 187 pounds. He is the holder of the IWGP United States Heavyweight Championship. Shiny and new. Kenta! I respect him. Well, obviously, Kenta has designs on becoming the next U.S. Heavyweight Champion. And Bullet Club is on the scene. We getting down with the sound of the old school vibe. Keep it alive with my tribe survive. 
Everybody know we gon' do it like this. Come on, everybody, don't stop, don't quit. Infectious motivation like for Fred Rosser. Well, this will be interesting, the Mr. No Days Off. Rock the party now, stop like this, gonna rock the party now, stop like this, gonna rock the party now, stop like this, yeah, we rock the party now, stop like this, rock the party now, stop like this, gonna rock the party now, stop like this, gonna rock the party now, stop like this, yeah, we rock the party now, stop like this, rock the party now, stop like this, gonna 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 rock the party now, stop like this, yeah, we rock the party now, stop like this, standing five foot nine inches tall. Fred Rosser, one of the great stars, one of the great stories, I should say, from 2020 here on New Japan Strong, who has become now again a household name. He had been a tag team champion in WWE and had great success there, but now I think we're seeing the true Fred Rosser, and we've seen it here on New Japan Strong. And how about ACH, who has already staring a hole through El Fantasbo, controversy going back to the Super J Cup. Oh, wait a minute wait, now. Wait, 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 wait. We're not ready. Get up. You get up. Listen to the man. Come on, ref. Get him out of the get ring. Up. It's our post time. One in to start. Are you kidding me? Yeah, you guys one in. Come on. Get them out. Though. Come on. You guys each need one in to start. All right, all right. All right. I'll go first. Can Bullet Club, ever so confident. Demanding their time in the spotlight. They're about to face off against a oh, piss off ACH. Nice. The old rock, paper, scissors. Yep. It looks like it's going to yeah. be the big man, Hikaleo. And well, maybe. wait a minute. Well. All right, so seeing ACH declare himself legal to start this match. Oh, yeah, no handshake now. No surprises between these two. Come on. There are, there are some scores. Oh, the disrespect. Oh, my God. The disrespect on Phantasmo. Disgusting. Trying to wipe it on the cameraman. God. A piggish human being. Hey, come on, Shut your mouth. Come on, ACH. Colin Elbow tie up. Again, even something as controversial as ring music with El Fantasmo. He doesn't miss a trick when it comes to trying to get under everybody's skin. Well, he's so good at getting under people's skin. I mean, that, that, that is one of his techniques of getting the upper hand in his matches as well. Nah, but you can't take away from the fact now he's a back-to-back -back Super J Cup tournament winner. Which is uh, quite impressive. The only other man who has won the Super J Cup back to back was uh, Jushin Thunder Liger. So now he can put his name next to the legend. But what a disgusting, vile individual. He knows how to find success, doesn't yes, he? Yes, he does. But ACH looking to get even for the Super J Cup and nearly defeating El Fantasmo. Still got it. ACH off the ropes. Cartwheel, wow. backflip, back ah, kick. Yes, sir. And now he's clearing house. The wait, whole wait, bullet wait, 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 wait. Don't turn your back. Wow. I'm able to stumble Hikaleo back to his feet. Oh, oh, but gets stopped dead in his tracks with a big boot. A huge forearm taken. ACH all the way to the corner. And now oh, all hell has broken loose. Rosser and Kenta. Blake Christian and El Fantasmo locked up on the outside while Hikaleo does damage. That is one thing that the referees can never gain control over is the Bullet Club. When they, 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 they are masters of distraction. Sorry, Jeremy! Let go of Hikaleo, come on, that's enough. Pull him in the ring. I'm outside. Don't tell me what to do. Shut up. 
However disrespectful El Fantasmo is, however vile of a human being he is, you can't take away from the fact that the man is very skilled. No, yeah, absolutely. There's, there's no denying it. And it seems like no matter you know, who you talk about within Bullet Club, there is always that begrudging respect that you must give them. For, for example, Kenta, who's now tagged in. And a cover and a one count. When you look at Kenta's resume and everything he's done throughout his certain to be Hall of Fame career, it seems like he's found that new life and that new surge of energy within Bullet Club and continues to just find ways to win. He certainly has found a home in Bullet Club. He's a uh, he's, uh, he's a living legend and still on top of his game. He picked the right cards in aligning himself with Bullet Club. I mean, a former heavyweight champion in NOAA, a three-time junior heavyweight champion, and now finding success in New Japan with the Bullet Club. Unstoppable faction. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, and a huge chop downing ACH to the ground. Why is that allowed? Stop the chop. Hashtag stop the chop. <laughs> it's going to trend. <laughs> just as ACH starts to try to fight through, Hikaleo just too massive. Oh, no! Just tosses him. Man ACH him. could be out. Drags him away. <laughs> and able to kick out as the referee counted two. But Hikaleo at six feet, nine inches tall. He's the Bullet Club's equalizer for sure. Tossing him into the both boots of Kenta and Fantasma. And now Fantasma in the ring. Continuing to oh, come on punish now. the back of ACH by scraping his nails into deep into the back of ACH. The Dermis Destroyer himself, and now the tag to Kenta. So it's a new year, but it's same Bullet Club. Oh, yeah. Same powerful, uncontrollable Bullet Club. And now oh, Kenta on. doing the same thing, just scratching, digging deep into the back with his nails of ACH. I mean, Fred, Fred Rosser and Blake Christian both starting to make moves into the ring, and referee Jeremy Marcus holding them off. I think uh, again, and, and again, Christian coming in again. This is what Bull Club is so good at. Uh, I mean, they, they're provoking the, the other members of the team to get inside the ring, distracting the ref, continuing to unleash damage to an already barely functional ACH. I mean, you got to have a level of uh, anxiety if you're going to be Fred Roster and Blake Christian. I mean, they have not been able to get in the ring once here. Yeah, the collective blood pressure certainly rising over in the red corner, but now Hikaleo could end things here. Oh, if he's going to if he's going to drop him with this super Oh, ACH able to land on his feet and goes under. Will he will he be able to get to the to the ring? Hikaleo trying to hold down, but ACH able to escape and tags in a fresh Fred Rosser who eliminates both Kenta and Fantasma. Now I'm putting the work on the big man. Watch that headbutt from Fred Rosser. It just connected on Hikaleo, reverses, and Rosser hard to the buckle. Here comes Hikaleo charging in. Rosser out of the way. And now Fred Rosser comes in. No, able the boot. to duck under. Catches Hikaleo, pulling him by his foot. Not putting the work on his leg, and that is how you neutralize a big man like that. Hikaleo trying to fight back, but Fred Rosser is all business. Once he grabs a hold of you, forget about it. Slamming that leg into the post. That is exactly what you want to do to neutralize a big man like Hikaleo. Got to get in and follow up, and Fred Rosser now in. Hikaleo has been slowed now. One leg, one big post taken away from him. So smart to work on the legs of the big man. If you take away the legs of the big man, Hikaleo, he is no longer six foot nine. And now Rosser having grounded Hikaleo. Got the STF applied. So Hikaleo in some submission trouble here. He's got his leg locked and now he's trying to 
<laughs> trying to grab the rest of the head of uh, Hikalea, but Hikalea able to fight back. But the damage has been done. All right, so now Hikaleo needing a tag. Oh, my God. Knocking him silly with a huge forearm. That was a hard shot. Hikaleo hobbled, though. Rosser bringing that knee off the ring post and then the STF. And now watch out for this choke slam. Watch out, choke slam. Oh, and he's able to grasp the throat of Fred Rosser. Here we go. No, Rosser. Fred able to connect. Rosser able to tag out Blake Christian with a drop kick off the top rope and a springboard moonsault. Not quite able to connect. An all too powerful Hikalea able to. Stand on his feet still. Wait a minute, Fred Rosser trying to help his partner. Oh, oh yes, how about that? Wow. A little assist from Rosser. And the DDT, the result too. Oh, wow, that was a close count. Great tag team work by Fred Rosser and Blake Christian. Kenta, Kenta holding on to the leg of Fred Rosser. Kenta's got a hold, watch out. Watch out, Fantasmo sneaking around. And the referee doesn't even see it. No, he doesn't. Fred and Rosser it's... tosses him into the grasp of Hikaleo. Can they, oh, what gosh. a choke slam. The choke Jesus slam Christ. and the tag. But Fred Rosser is standing in between. I don't know if Fred Rosser is aware that there was a tag made. Fred Rosser could have had such laser focus on Hikaleo. Rolling forearm, but don't forget, a tag has been made. Able to close on him over the top rope, and Kansa, right behind him, tosses him to the outside, and ACH does the same to Kenta. Kenta on the apron gets caught with the drop kick there from ACH. Blake. And El Fantasmo almost hiding as ACH dives over the top of the plancha. Blake Christian still down. He took a huge choke slam from Hikaleo. All the way huge. across the ring. What a splash. A crusher, two, and a kick wow. out. All hard Blake Christian still able to kick out even after taking that big choke slam. And a huge splash from El Fantasma. But El Fantasma is looking to close in on this match. CR2, oh. no. Backdrop, wait a second. Sits down, sits down. Two! Oh Almost my beat God. the Super J Cup tournament winner. What an upset this would be. <laughs> Pulling the referee in between he and Blake Christian. And now watch this. Load up Gareful, this Gareful. super kick. Oh my Ooh, God, my God. a super kick just knocked out Blake Christian. Super kick, two, two. it's Three. over. That a super it. kick just knocked out Blake Christian. Time, 10 minutes and 29 seconds. Here are your winners, Hikuleo, Kenta, and El Fantasmo, the Bullet Club. I'm fascinated by the by, by, by how cool a club, how co co cohesive they are, how they're able to, against all odds, still able to pull out a victory. Distracting the ref, but still, I mean, how they're able to do that. Wow, all they took was one super kick from El Fantasmo to dim the lights of Blake Christian and score the victory. Obviously, Fred Ross are not done with Hikaleo. And tension's running high here on New Japan Strong. I bet Fred Rosser would like to get another chance, get his hands on the Bullet Club. It's never a clean victory with Bullet Club, but it's a victory nonetheless. I'm sure. I'm sure we're gonna see a lot of dents on that new shiny briefcase. Yeah, whose skull will be the next to crack that briefcase before Kenta is finally able to open it? Well, that was... Oh, Jesus, that was too easy. And now easy. they're gonna swap out ACH with Leo Rush like we should be scared of Leo Rush. Like it's some big deal that Leo Rush is making his debut in New Japan Strong. I'm not scared. 
Are you scared? No. Are Hell you no. scared? Why are we supposed to cut a promo saying we're scared about Leo Rush? I already beat his ass in the Super J Cup. We're gonna do the same thing on Strong. Cause we run this TV studio. This bum hick town by the ocean. Where are we? Where are we right now? I don't even know, bro. We're in a bum hick town by the ocean, like I just said. Yeah, that's right. But this is Bullet Club country. So Bullet Club looks dominant here in our main event. But let's look back at what we saw here on this episode of New Japan Strong as we wrap up the road to Lions Break Contenders. And Lions Break Contenders, the tour itself gets underway next week. We saw Mysterioso look very strong against Barrett Brown. And TJP took all the measures against, uh, it took everything that he had to get the victory over Adrian Quest. Big poppy pump. Showed just how poppy he is, you know, a true contender. But he could have gone either way. TJP also. I mean, he threw everything out there and he was able to pull out the victory. It's exciting to see what's going to be happening. It's almost as if Adrian Quest and Barrett Brown, they are so close. I mean, because victory was in their grasp. So close. I mean, they put everything into it. You just have to go back to the drawing board. Well, we'll see what happens as their journey continues. And, of course... El Fantasma with that super kick uh, knocked out Blake Christian and got the win. And next week, the Lions Break Contenders Tour will kick off, and we have a great main event. I am so looking forward to seeing Ren Narita make his New Japan Strong debut against a fellow debutante in ROH's Bateman. That's going to be a very interesting contest. We'll see what happens next week. And you know the place to be right here each and every week, New Japan Strong with Alex Kozlov and Kevin Kelly. We'll see you then.